In this video, we will continue with binomial expansion and you will find this on page 81 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Just go up, up, come, come, come. Okay. Okay, let's just move it to down. Okay, let's stop. Expand in ascending powers of x up to the x3. Now the problem, this is not a binomial. It's not two terms. It's three terms. So I first have to make it two terms. So change it into a binomial by taking out x as a common factor. So work out the first terms until x3. So if I take out x, I take it out of this 2. So it's 1 plus x bracket 2 minus 3 x close to the power of 6. Now still pas Pascal's triangle 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So I, I'm going to start. I'm just not going to work out all. So it's 1, 6, 15. Here's the 1, 6. 15, 20. You can work out a little bit more and at the end just ain't with the 3. Okay, so if I, I take the first term and it's to the power 6, then 5, then 4, then 3. Then the second term, remember, this is now that whole term and that's to the power of 1. First to the power of 0, then 1, then 2, then 3. Okay, and now I basically just simplify. So simplify this one. Uh, this is going to become, this is 6, okay, let's just, that's the 6 and that's to the power 1. That is the 15x squared, okay, and that is going to be 2 minus 3, because remember that is x squared. If this one, this is square and you square the bracket, uh, then you cube and you cube the bracket. So I think this one is already out, so 20x3 and that's to the power of 3. So then you just simplify this, you simplify that there is your square, so you multiply out the bracket. And in this case, I, I don't even think that this is necessary. Let's just see. Oh, that then no, it is necessary. So again you start. Now this is just free. So can I just show you Pascal's triangle? Um, okay, if it's one, and then it's one, one, and then it's two on one, one. And then it's 3, 3, 1, 1. So, that's, so this is the first, second, third. So this is coming from that 1, do you see? And that's the 3, that's the 3. And I take the first term. Okay, now what is my first term here? This is the 2, do you see? 3, 2 squared. And the second term, first uh, and then to the power 1. So I just start with that also. Okay, and then I just multiply out. And let's see if I multiply it out. Yes, I get that. So, okay, I rewrite, I multiply out, I multiply out. Let me see, where was this one? Uh, so this is 8 times 20, so that's the 160. And then this one is 20, so first simplify, this is 4 times uh, 3, it's 12 times, uh, times 3. 36 times that and then I'll get that okay and then I'm basically just look for my what they said the first three so this is um, going to be x this is going to be this my x squared is nothing and this my x threes so that one is out but I'm looking up to x3 and then this will be my final answer okay and that's how you do it. It's, it's a bit quiet and you have to concentrate on a, quite a few things, but you don't have to multiply the whole thing out. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I think I'm going to, in this video, first start and then you can go, because this one is more or less like that one. Just number 2a. Okay, it, that you first conquer the basic. Just make it a bit smaller than I have space. Okay, let's just rewrite it. This is 2a, 
and it's 1 minus x minus x squared and that is to the power of 4. Okay, I will now bring in all my triangles and things like that. Now, there I have it. I can actually work with it. I can just maybe extend that one a little bit because it's going to be the 4. If I extend this one, it's going to be 4, and this is going to be 6, and 4, and 1, 1. Okay, so there is my fourth row. So if I simplify this, it's 1 minus, and now I'm taking out x, okay? And then, if I take it out, it's 1, and because it's near, it's plus x. Okay, and that's to the power of 4. Okay, so this is my first term, this is my second term. This is to the power of 4. So if it's to the power of 4, and I must start writing, I'm first going to write um, my coefficients. So it's going to be 1. It's this row. 4. 6. And I, yes, I don't, yes, I think it will still give me that 4 also. Okay. So in this case, I will start with the first term, so that is just my coefficients, and this is to the power of 4, and this is to the power of 3, and this is to the power of 2, and this is to the power of 1. Okay, plus, and now this is my next term, so let's just do it like that. It's going to be minus x, uh, 1 plus x, and it's going to be, this is going to be just to the power of 1. Okay, plus. And then it's going to be minus x, 1 plus x, that's to the power of 2, plus. Minus x, 1 plus x, and that's to the power of 3. Okay. Uh, so, 1 plus, this is 4, and then it's going to be just, because it's just 1, so I can actually already multiply it in there, because there's just a 1. So, it's minus x minus x squared. Okay plus 6. But now, be careful. This becomes positive. So it's x squared and it's 1 plus x squared. So I, I bring it for both terms in before I multiply out. So plus 4 and this is going to be, this is a negative now, x3 and 1 plus x to the power of 3. Okay. I'm just going to move it up and just like this a little bit. Okay, so this is 1. Okay, let's, if I can simplify, I simplify. So it's minus 4x minus 4x squared. Okay, plus, now I must first multiply. This is going to be 6x squared. And this is going to be 1. I'm doing the short way, but it's 1. Plus, multiply, multiply 2, so it's 2x plus x squared um, minus 4x3. Okay, and now, just because this is 3, uh, this is 3, this was 4, so it's 1, 3, so I'm starting just a little bit with that one. So, it was 1... 3, okay, let's just make it a bit wider, 1, 3, 3. So it, this is going to be 1 to the power of 3 plus, then it's 1 squared, and it's x, only x to the power, this is 0, so it's 1 plus 1, now let's just move it, 3, Come on, come on. 3 and it's x2. I think this is going to be enough. 
Okay, so let's just see if I can simplify it a bit further. So this is going to be 1 minus 4x minus 4x squared plus 6x squared plus 12. That's going to be x to the power of 3 plus 6x to the power of 4. Okay, and the problem is I, I must just order this a little bit. So this is going to be 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared. Now oh, let's just get that thing correct. Okay. I think now I'm ready to start simplifying. So it's minus 4x3 minus 12x4 um, minus 12x5. It's becoming too big. Okay. Now, let's first see my constants. It seems to my only constant is 1. Okay. Now, let's just see my to the power x. It's the only one to the power x, so it's minus 4x. Okay. Now, let's see the square. Square, square, and that's the only square. So plus 2x squared. Okay, and now let's see to the power of 3. To the power of 3, that is already too big. So it's 12 minus 4, and that's plus 8x to the power of 3. Okay, plus 1, 2, 3. Because the question was, because then it becomes too big. Expand each of these up to the term x3. Okay, so you work out a little bit more, but it's just to help you. Actually, I had to work out that one to help me with that to the bar. Then it will become too big. Again, practice all of them that you conquer this method because this is also how they ask it in the examination.